there is a terrible scandal at Roland Garros. Russian Yana Sizakova arrested over match-fixing suspicions just hours after appearing at French Open barely 26-year-old Russian Yana Sizakova completed her doubles match at Roland Garros 2021, as she ended up behind bars. The police took her almost from the massage table, and the tennis player's hotel room was searched. What's happening? What a terrible scandal. At the fall Roland Garros 2020 in the women's doubles first round match, Russian Yana Sizakova and American Madison Bringle lost to Romanians Andrea Mita and Patricia Maria Sig with a score of 6-7, 4-6. Then several bookmakers sounded the alarm because of suspicious bets on this match. In particular, the fifth game of the second set attracted their attention. At that moment, there was a large flow of funds, betting that Sizakova and Brengel would give this very game. With the score 7-6, 2-2 Sizakova served. On the very first serve, the Russian woman made a double mistake, which was already the sixth for their pair in the match. Then the girls lost two rallies, and the score was 0-40. And then Yana made another double, and the game was lost. After that, an investigation began. And now, six months later, Sizakova again came to Paris for the tournament and again lost in the first round, but with a different partner. It turns out that the police allowed Yana to speak at the tournament and only after her defeat was arrested. The Russian consulate in Paris confirmed the detention of the tennis player. While the athlete spends 72 hours in the police, after which she will be elected a preventive measure. While the detained Sizakova does not have a lawyer, diplomats are trying to find him. Now 26-year-old Yana Sizakova takes 101st place in doubles. During her career, she won one WTA doubles tournament, Lausanne 2019, along with Anastasia Potapova. Note that the punishment for participation in match-fixing, which the TIU can endure, provides for a fine of up to $250,000, as well as the amount that the player earned as a result of fraud. The disqualification of a tennis player may also follow, up to life. Moreover, the appeal is considered only by sports arbitration in Lausanne.